And in this video, I'm not going to treat y'all like a slack jaw booger eating moron. If you got the balls to tear into the top end, you probably can figure out what sockets go on which bolt. So let's get to it. Definitely the bridge gasket. All right, you see all this, the oil and the wetness on the inside of the gasket, it means it's not doing its job and the rocker box oil is getting into the breather system. You notice how brittle that is. I didn't, let's look on the inside. You see all that oil in there? It's leaking. This gasket was leaking as well. So we're going to fix the gaskets, replace the gaskets, and we don't have to put a catch can on there. We're back to a breather system that's doing its job. Now you notice here that the O-ring for the breather system, it's flattened and so that's that's the third point of entry for the oil from the rocker box to leak into the breather hole and be blowed in through the umbrella valve and the little screen. And what you want is an O-ring that stands close to 50% of the thickness of the O-ring above the machine surface.
Now once you get the cylinders off, you want to check your side to side and up and down play on your connecting rod. And it can be a little bit, this is pretty tight, it's in good shape, uh, but you just don't want it excessive. Now, of course we knew that it's, the breather system has been leaking by for about 30,000 miles, 25-30,000 miles. And you see that it, you know, the excessive carbon buildup on top of the piston. If it, had, if if that had been addressed, you know, when it first started becoming an issue, there would be very little uh, carbon buildup. A little bit right in this area, and it wouldn't be wet like that. It'd be real ashy, and the outside of the piston would still be good. But we're gonna mic the cylinder and see if we're exceeded our wear limits. The pistons look in good shape you know the, the uh, sides of them so as long as we're still well within our wear limit we're gonna put it back together with all new gaskets and rock and roll but let's get in there mic that cylinder okay now we're at 117,000 miles we're placing all these gaskets so this is a perfect time to check the service wear limit just to see if we need to, to hone it out to the next size you want to mic it right there where that silver spot is on the piston on each side. And the tolerance on these, the, the service wear limit is, is a .0053, you know, 5,000 roughly. And as you see here, we're at 3 inch 7, 47 and a half. So let's check the cylinder and see where we're at. But I'll bet you we're probably good. Okay, now you see the cylinder, the cross hatching in it. I mean, I'm gonna tell you this thing is probably fine, but I mean that that's really strong cross hatching like it's supposed to have from the factory. But let's go ahead and check it just while we got it apart. From the factory, the fit brand new engine is anywhere between .0006 to point. 0016 all right so anywhere between that is what it would have come from brand new from the factory and so we're looking at about about we, we're, we're maybe a half thousandths over the uh, loose brand new fit from the, the factory so I mean we got till 5,000 so this cylinder and this piston it's going back in there just like it is I mean you stop and think 117,000 miles and we've got maybe a half thousandths wear, three quarter of a thousandths wear. You know, mathematically, you know, we can go another 400, 500,000 miles if it wore exactly the same, you know. All right, now y'all saw there wasn't nothing to that job. So if you're sitting there on the toilet or you're driving down the road in your car or you're at work watching this video, you can see, don't be scared to tackle it. it just takes a few basic hand tools and believe it or not, putting it back together is pretty much, you know, wash, rinse, and repeat. You just go backwards. There's going to be a few things on the next video when we get the heads back from Fast Freddy, having them ported and polished, that you'll need to know, you know, some torque procedures and whatnot. And uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe and that thumbs up so you get the notification in a week or so when we put this thing back together. That way you'll know how to do yours. So I want to end it here. It's the end of the day. Drink me a cold beer. I'll see y'all next time.